All right, uh, it's day three at Gartner, and uh, I'm so excited to be with Mark and Rajat here. Uh, Mark is from Emuda, Rajat from Malaysian. Welcome to the Robert Show. I'm super excited to discuss more about data governance, data security, and much more today, and also about the themes of Gartner. But just for our audience, would you like to start with an introduction? Maybe Rajat, you can go first, and then Mark. Sure. My name is Rajat Sinha. I'm the VP of Alliances here at Alation. It's great to be here. Uh, my name is Mark Guntrip. I'm the VP of Portfolio Marketing at Amuta. This is actually my first Gartner uh, Data and Analytics conference, so it's been great to get here and uh, hear, hear what everybody has to say. This is fantastic. So I'm pretty sure in the last three days you've met so many enterprise leaders, so many other data AI leaders as well. And what are the themes that you've been hearing, not only just from them, but at Gartner as well? Would you like to share something about it? Rather? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think it goes back to the keynote that kind of set the pace for the entire um, three days. It was around value creation, like business value outcomes. Then it was around AI, which is all pervasive that you're hearing about. And then a lot about governance as well. And that kind of leads into what we're doing as companies together. Like we're looking to go to market with four themes. And those four themes are around data search and discovery, data literacy, data leadership, and data governance. And we can talk more about how we partner together on that. Yeah. And I, th I think from my perspective, so I'd, I'd, I'd concur with Rajat, I think the, the, the focus on data governance has certainly been noticeable. Right. Uh, everything from the keynote where you know, it says, if, if you want to be able to innovate quickly, you need to have governance. If you want to succeed with AI, you need to have good governance. Uh, and the, the requirement, rather than a, uh, almost a, a barrier or a slowing down of preventing you from going as fast as you want, is actually now an enabler to helping you go even faster. And even down to here in the expo floor where everything's organized by, um, uh, I'll say technology, but there's the data governance area, you've got the data management area. That I think it's certainly risen to the top as a key requirement for organizations. This is fantastic information. Thanks for sharing that. Thanks, Rajat. Also, quickly, since uh, I have Immuta and Malaysian together, I would love to know what uh, in the data governance field, like it's a broad uh, space. Who does what uh, at Malaysian and Immuta? Would love to know a little about that. You want me to just start? You go. You go ahead, Rajat. Okay. So the way I look at data governance, and you're right, it is a broad space. It's around looking at auditability accountability to drive consumer behaviors, right. to drive shareholder value or stakeholder value. Um, and when you look at this, it comes down to seeing like, where is the data stored in these large cloud providers, right? And then what does Alation do well? Alation helps companies find, understand, trust the data. Then we work with Immuta to secure and govern the data. And all three parties, the cloud providers, us, and Immuta, create this trifecta for driving governance. So I, I, I kind of look at it as almost a, a, a supply chain. So you, you've got to start off with understanding what you've got, then you've got to understand what you want to do with it, and then you've got to prove what you did with it on, on the other side. And so I think just as, as Rajat said, with the, the combination together of understanding what data a company has, where it is, what it, what it is, and then with Amuta being able to say, well, who can access that? When can they access that? How can they access that? and then the compliance and the reporting piece at the end. So you're right, it is very broad, but I think it's it, it, it's a logical flow of, of how you get from the very beginning to the very end, and if you drop any ball along the way, it's an issue around governance, and so that's why I think our partnership works very well together. Yeah, yeah. and it comes down to collaboration as well. I think the last point you mentioned yeah. was about how do you com communicate yeah. with each other, with different parties across the data value chain. So that is key. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. So, uh, also quick one in terms of, uh, you know, this year it will be very important for data governance as it has always been. But uh, what are the other themes that you're seeing this year? But in general as well, what's what's big for Immuta and Elysian this year? Would love to know a little about that. You want to go this time? I'll go first. Yes. Sure, why not? <laughs> so, I mean, I, I think the... Uh, AI is everywhere here, right? So I think as we look at, at, at trends and, and what's important, whether that's customers wondering, I think st st still right now wondering, figuring out exactly what they're going to do around AI, 
putting security and governance at the front of that. Again, going back to some of the quotes I heard from the sessions here, if you want to succeed in AI, you need good governance, otherwise you're gonna trip and fall. Um, there's the utilization of AI within products and how do we make things easier, quicker, more streamlined. Uh, I think from the Amuta perspective of what we're seeing from our customers, uh, we hear a lot about technology. We're a technology company. This is a technology show, but it also comes down to the, the people, the personas, the processes, uh, and especially as you look at some of the more complicated data projects out there around AI, around data marketplaces, which is what I've heard a lot in the conversations that I've had on the show floor. That's not easy. That's a team sport, and you need to get everybody working together in concert from your data stewards to your governance to your policy creators to your compliance folks to actually be successful. So we're looking at how do we join those, the, the forces of those, those uh, groups together yeah. so that they know what they've got to do, when they've got to do it, and accelerate the path towards, uh, towards success. Fantastic. Yeah, so I'll just add on to that. Look, AI for us, the way we see it, it's like a, McKinsey puts it as 2.5 to 4.4 billion dollar right. Um, right. economic opportunity, right? So that's huge. And what does that mean? Like if you can provide uh, AI on data securely and make it trusted across the value chain, you are actually improving the top line and the bottom line. You're taking out inefficiencies from the system, right? right? You're driving worker productivity. You're actually driving people to stay in the organization because knowledge workers can now be ac accessing the data, right. right? So I think that we see that as a huge opportunity uh, together. And what we do see is that in the second half of the year that we're working on intelligent curation of data yeah. and intelligent semantic search. So less clicks to get quicker answers. Okay. Yeah. This is very interesting and I'm definitely looking forward to the H2, what you guys are doing, but yeah. H1 is exciting as well. So thanks for sharing that. Quick question for both of you. If our audience wants to reach out to you, learn more about Elysian, more about Immuda, where can they do? Is LinkedIn the best place? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, LinkedIn is great. Our website, amuta.com, if you want to learn a little bit more about what we do. Uh, we have a lot of very smart people all around the world, so we're happy to talk with whoever is interested in securing their data, working with Alation in terms of cataloging and figure out what they've got, and then, as I've mentioned, taking the steps through that compliance chain all the way through, uh, through the governance chain, sorry, all the way through to compliance. Yeah, for us, yeah, the website, uh, is, is perfect to reach out. Also come join our community, make the community better. So, um, Alation communities, um, and feel free to reach out to me over LinkedIn. If I can help answer any questions, I'll be more than happy. Fantastic, this is great, Mark. Uh, Rajat, such a pleasure chatting with you both at Gartner, and definitely looking forward to meeting you very soon again. All right, thank, thank, you. thank you so All much, this has been great. Thanks everyone.